Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone. Let's continue with football, shall we? In a sensational move on Wednesday, Wolverhampton Wanderers, they submitted a resolution to scrap the use of the video assistant referee VAR in the English Premier League. As such, EPL clubs will vote on the matter at their next annual uh, general meeting set for June 6. Now, 14 of the 20 votes are needed to effect change, meaning Wolves will require support from at least 13 other clubs. In a statement, Wolves said, our position is that the price we are paying for a small increase in accuracy is at odds with the spirit of our game and as a result, we should remove it from the 2024-2025 season onwards. The Premier League has since responded. The Premier League can confirm it will facilitate a discussion on VAR with our clubs at the annual general meeting next month. Clubs are entitled to put forward proposals at shareholders' meetings and we acknowledge the concerns and issues around the use of VAR. However, the league fully supports the use of VAR and remains committed alongside the PGMOL to make continued improvements to the system for the benefit of the game and fans. Now, one of our international football analysts, Juan Giorango, joins us for this discussion. Juan, welcome once again to the Sportsmax Zone. I'd like to know your thoughts on the matter here in regards to if this is an overreaction by Wolves, but the early indication is that it is going to be as you were with VAR continuing for next season. But, but what are your thoughts on the matter? Uh, look, um, in terms of it, I mean, I'd like to see it gone because, you know, I mean, and this is me playing always devil's advocate, of course, mm. um, Seeing the first time Wolves or any other team ends up getting a call not going their way and VAR not being there to revert it or to confirm it, I think immediately said, no, no, can you please bring it back? Because we need it back. The problem is not VAR. It's, it's me giving you, it, it's you getting in a car accident all the time. And my solution to you is not going to teach you how to drive. It's giving you a more expensive car. It doesn't. It doesn't solve the solution. It doesn't solve the problem that's at hand. We, we the problem isn't VAR. The problem is the referees that use it, and their interpretations and how they see things. There needs to be new blood in terms of refereeing. And I know it might sound drastic, but there there are also a lot of economic commitments, a lot of financial commitments already in place in order to remove VAR. So I see it very difficult for it happening. But the problem is much deeper than that, and we've had it much longer than we've had VAR, which are the referees and their miscues. Again, it's, it's not picking on Premier League referees because bad refereeing is endemic. We see it all over the place. We see it in World Cups. We see it in Champions Leagues. We see it in, 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 in CONCACAF. Oh, let's talk about that. And we also see it in South America. We see it everywhere. So it's endemic. It's not just picking on the referees in the Premier League. It's knowing that refereeing overall worldwide is pretty poor on down. Yeah, one, you know, you make an interesting point as it relates to the economic financial commitments that are likely already in place with VAR. Mm -hmm. I know that a number of reports have said that um, it will be put to a vote at the annual general meeting. But in the release um, from um, the Premier League, what they said is that we are willing to facilitate a discussion. Um, what have you heard in terms of whether there will actually be a vote? Um, come the 6th of June. That, that hasn't been even mentioned yet. I mean, there's talks about a possible vote. There is discussions about vo a vote most likely happening. It's not 100% sure. Now, will Wolves want to be in a position or... Well, there's also been other teams. Let's, let's, not, let's not forget, Liverpool's also mentioned something. Uh, Forest have also mentioned discontent. So, so you might have them all. Do you have enough to go in and say, okay, let's have a vote? And then you start really pulling on the Premier League and, 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 and Richard Masters and everybody else that, that, that's, uh, in, in, you know, even Howard Webb in the PGMOL and them saying, well, OK, fine, let's try and, and find a solution. No, I mean, you have to have something under your sleeve in order to have some leverage. 
at the end of the day. It's not just voting. It's not as democratic as, as one would, would want to make it seem because there's, there's a back and forth that's being given. Now, all this being said, no one knows exactly what the other, you know, I mentioned three teams, what the other 16 sides have in mind. You know, I, I'm not sure if City's so on board with it. And like like Donald said earlier on, you need to have around 13, 14 votes to be able to turn something around in, in the in these general meetings. So do they have that number? I don't think so, as the, of yet. The thing the thing about the issue with VAR though is that it's it, it's the the problems and the issues are so unique to the English Premier League. Yeah, of course, mm -hmm. bad refereeing is endemic throughout the world. Mm -hmm. But I get the mm -hmm. impression. Because even when we watch Champions League this season in particular, not a lot of controversy. When the World Cup comes around, we don't see as many controversies as we do for the English Premier League. So it is a matter of how certain things are interpreted, which means that is it now a case where things have to be refined in terms of the rules, in terms of the approach? Um, because let's take goal line technology, for example. When a ball crosses the goal line, there is no controversy. The signal goes to the watch, and that's it. End of discussion. And it's immediate as well. Do you think that that future is almost too unrealistic to say, well, this is where VAR is intending to go, and it's just a matter of interpretation or putting in the requisite technology needed so the mistakes are totally eliminated? My question to you, I'm answering with a question, okay? Mm. What is the direction that they want to go? That, that, that is a good no. question. We don't know. And, and, and not only that, I mean, again, when we want to talk about VAR, we can't just talk about the Premier League alone because these referees will go, OK, fine. Let's say they do scrap VAR. How do these referees, many of these referees that are involved in Champions League, how do they go and start using VAR when they do Champions League or Europa League or Conference League? So, so that ends up being a further ramification of the referees not having the appropriate tools. I mean, we could get into. I mean, we just had a con we just had a controversy here in the United States with with referees going on strike because of the amount of money and and the the unwillingness of of certain FAs to try and professionalize refereeing even more. I mean, many of these referees in 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 major league soccer and in other countries still have to go to their regular um, uh, jobs week during the week in order to you know make things meet make make ends meet and then go referee during the weekends as much money as they do earn and, and that's been a problem it, it's the willingness to take that step forward and invest further not just in the technology necessarily but in the professionalization of the referees where they go and they fine-tune themselves and there is an understanding of the universal methods in which calls should be made because there's always this clamor well it, Calls need to be universal. If a, if a challenge studs up is a is a red card, it's a red card in every situation. But then the referees, um, you know, they, they go and, and look at it another way, or they say, well, not now. But the same foul in the fifth minute is is in a foul, but in the sixty fifth minute it is. You have that, and you might have the same call being made in ten different ways by ten different referees. I remember even Brent Sancho at one point. He had, of course, mentioning him here. Um, that he had even considered and, and proposed having former players go in because they would be able to explain things better because these many of the referees and the people that make the rules aren't necessarily footballers and haven't had to go through the rigors of a footballer. And thus, it makes it very difficult for them to truly interpret what a move or a certain action that's being done by a footballer be able to have some empathy and understand exactly how it works. Juan, I mean, VAR being banned, in my opinion, is a, is a retro step, right? And I can understand in the emotion, in the aftermath of a wrong um, call against your team, I can understand you screaming, you know what, just get rid of her. But they had weeks to think about it. And the fact that at the end of the day, their proposal is just to get back to the spirit of the game, it, it, it makes little sense. So I'm a little bit disappointed with the proposal of just scrapping it. And the Premier League's response is more in line with what I expect from um, these officials, as well as the, the head mm -hmm. of, the, of, the, of the, the Premier League game in England, to have yeah. that discussion and to make those tweaks, but to just say, ban VAR, they, they have short memories, because I remember the days when we always wanted things to be reviewed, and all of a sudden you want of to course. go back to those days?
Absolutely, no, you're absolutely right, and I agree with you, and I, and I, I do remember, and I had mentioned to many people when I've been, I said, wait, some people have very short memories because, uh, I mean, you can go all the way back to 1966, whether that, that goal by England went in or not, did it, did it not, and people still have complained about, you know, even in England, I mean, of all places, they still complain that Maradona scored a goal with his fist. You know, and so, you know, if VAR would have been around, then yeah, that goal would have counted. Yeah, all of this, all of that is true. Everything that you're saying is absolutely true. People forget about those things and they forget that when, well, and, and look, I'm gonna sound very mean right now. I don't measure executive or footballing executives of the specific teams or fans as measures of sanity and logic. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not, because you know what? Everything is great as long as it works for me. And, and that's just human nature. When things, when you're getting screwed by the referees, or, or, or at least you perceive that, that's when you end up being, oh, I don't want VAR, I don't want this, I don't want that, I got, I'm the one that ended up not getting benefited. That's what ends up happening. That's why many of these teams are saying, oh, scrap VAR. Notice that City's not saying anything. Let's start there. Yeah. One, you know, VAR is not inexpensive, right? And there's a lot of mm -hmm. money that goes into making this happen and i look at what will said our position is that the price we are paying for a small increase in accuracy is at odds with the spirit of the game i want to get your take on whether it has been a small increase in accuracy and if indeed that is correct then could wolves be onto something here for the amount of money that's been spent i'm going to try and counter that for the amount of money that's been spent, why not scrap goal line technology instead? Because it's getting the decisions right pretty much, well, every time. VAR is mm -hmm. not getting the decisions right every time. And especially but, but, but in the Premier times, League, how many, where how we many have times seen, in the season do you use it? Well, we still have, for example, in the Premier League, we continue to have contention week after week, even though... There is VAR. So I'm not saying that VAR hasn't gotten some decisions correct. Oh. But what I am saying is that the contention is still there on many of the decisions mm -hmm. um, made by VAR. And in some case, VAR gets it wrong, just outright. Um, and we've seen that with Liverpool and in other instances as well. And so I'm saying, if indeed Wolves is right, and at the moment, I don't know mm -hmm. if they are right because I don't have the full numbers, but if they are right to say that it is only a small improvement in accuracy, mm -hmm. then is it worth the money that the Premier League is spending and that the mm -hmm. clubs themselves have to fork out as well to make this thing happen? You make total sense. I mean, yeah, there's very little. I mean, if, if there's a team that should be complaining, it should be teams like Spurs. I mean, remember that 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 uh, that goal that was disallowed, or yeah. the goal, you know, the whole in in the Spurs Liverpool match. I mean, how that ends up being called. I mean, if we remember that. I mean, if there, there's other teams, if they start saying, "Yeah, you're right. I had that happen," they come out and do that. That's different. But but I, I disagree. I mean, the investments there. I mean, I'm I was using. Uh, goal line technology on, on the amount of times that it's used throughout the season. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. It, it, it's so, right. So there's it's right a stat here, time. one, that VAR yeah. has improved correct decisions from 82 to 92%. Um, now, that's one side of the, the equation, one. The other side of the equation, I guess, that individuals will say is get individuals who can use VAR competently. I remember Peter Prendergast on this very show, um, referees in structure, saying to us mm -hmm. that VAR is a person, yeah? It's a person yeah. who is in that room, um, in some instances, manipulating um, whatever system that they need to, um, to find whether it is the edge of the boot or the hand or whatever it is to come to a final decision. Um, and so that is important that we understand. And what it comes back to is finding competent individuals who understand the game. But one, apparently, we're way out of time. I'm sure this is something yeah. that we're going <laughs> to well, continue to discuss agree, for a while to come. I agree 100% with everything you're saying. I mean, they're, they're, you're not getting an argument from me. I just I just want to play devil's advocate on that I'm one. getting an argument right. from, from Donald. Here's a, here's a quick question. How do we know that VAR gets it wrong? How do we know that How VAR do we get, know that VAR gets it wrong? Because we've seen them get it wrong. And that is They've the point. They've admitted to getting it and wrong. And that's the point. The technology is there is just for us to use it well. And okay. that is the point.
But isn't exactly, that what I yeah. just said? Yeah, but you know, everybody understands when I say you see, it. The, 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 I, I, that's why I get you, where you guys were listening, I gave you the Ferrari <laughs> example and you still weren't listening. I mean, Donald was just thinking about driving it instead of actually thinking what I was trying to come across with. But that was um, asking me to buy it for him. Communica well, communication was had, right? One, have a good weekend, all right? <laughs> we gotta go. You too, take care, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.